What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today I've got a quick update for you regarding the iOS 10.2 and 10.1.1 jailbreak from Luca Tedesco. So let's jump right into it. A jailbreak for iOS 10.2 and 10.1.1. We've been waiting for quite some time now, and you guys know that this past weekend we also saw the release of iOS 10.2.1 to the public with iOS 10.3 Beta 1 as well to developers. So where does this actually leave us for the jailbreak? Well, the good news is that today word has been going around that Luca Tedesco has made his source code available for the Yalu iOS 10.2 jailbreak to the jailbreak community. Now, this is a bit of a surprise as we were expecting him to be the developer of this new jailbreak, but I do think that with all the rumors of Luca himself working for Apple, along with the latest firmwares being released this past weekend, Luca may have just simply been looking for assistance with the new jailbreak, or he may have been doing what he has done in the past, handing off the reins to a new developer for the jailbreak, and instead of him actually developing it himself. So as of now, we do not yet have a fully functioning iOS 10.2 jailbreak, nor will we have a jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1 and 10.3. The jailbreak is in a middle stage of the game with more developers simply needing to package up the code and release it in usable jailbreak form, similar to the PP jailbreak that we had on 9.3.3. I'm actually very interested to see if this jailbreak will ultimately be released by Luca himself or by other developers, for example, the Pangu team. After all, Luca did finish off the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak in this manner when the code was already halfway implemented for the 9.3.3 jailbreak and then it finally was finished by Luca himself. Now I don't have any idea in terms of a release date, but this is good to hear some solid news as to where the jailbreak progress is. Today is January 25th, so we'll just have to wait and see for that. For those wondering, it's definitely not fully in a usable form yet, but I'm interested to see what happens moving forward. So what do you guys need to do in the meantime? Well, I recommend downgrading to iOS 10.2 at this time. I do have iOS 10.3 installed here on my iPhone 6. Really, if you want to have a chance of jailbreaking your device, with the release of all of these new firmwares, Apple may be closing the signing window for iOS 10.2, so I would downgrade while you still can for a jailbreak, guys. I think it's the best idea right now. Anyway, hopefully this video was insightful if you did have any questions about the jailbreak, and I obviously will upload a video when it is released or when more updates are made available. For now, be sure to subscribe and hit the button below for more content, and I'll put all of my social network's latest videos and fun app hacks down there in the description, so check those out. Hopefully you enjoy all of those. Also, I will have my website down there, which is recently revamped in terms of design, and I will be doing a YouTube gear and Apple device Amazon store on my website down there, so you guys can actually buy all the gear and all the accessories I have here on my channel. Go ahead and check that out as well. As usual, guys, just gonna have to stick around and wait to see what happens with the jailbreak. Continue to stay awesome, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.